everyone and welcome to this year's 2022 Professional Speakers Association of Southern Africa Midterm Convention. My name is Sitsi Mutendi and I am the convener of the 2022 Midterm Convention and this convention is being held under the banner, the theme of the power of other, not the theme of other. The power of other primarily because as the Professional Speakers Association, our last convention was held under the power of us and we focused on how we could lift each other up and be able to put each other back on track after the COVID-19 shutdowns and everything that was going around and going on in the world around us. So as we looked forward into the future, we decided to look outside of ourselves. We decided to look at the communities we serve, the people that embrace us, and all the people that have continued to champion professional speaking, as well as engage us in the various work that we do. And we decided to give back for two hours every day for seven days. So that's 14 hours in total. We will be giving back as speakers and giving 20 minutes to share our messages, to share words of encouragement of empowerment, giving people tools, and we basically giving back to the communities that we believe have continued to rally around us and those that don't even know that we exist so that we that they know we exist and that we are here to serve. So thank you so much for joining me today and thank you so much to all the speakers who have lifted their hands and have agreed to be part of this phenomenal event where we are celebrating the other people in our lives, the people in our lives that continue to hold us up. And I would like to give a special shout out, especially to the president, um, Bruce Wade, because he's allowed me this opportunity to be able to bring together a, a, not a phenomenal group of speakers who have given, who are giving their time and their knowledge to be able to say, you know what, we appreciate the community that um, surrounds the Professional Speakers Association. So we have speakers who are coming through from Southern Africa, as well as from across the globe and who are part, who participate within the association and within the other communities mm. that surround the association. So I am so excited to be having this event and to be your convener for the 2022 Midterm Convention. And to kick off today, which is Soulful Sunday, we are going to have a 20 minute session where I am going to be delivering on the message, how to find your inner self. And I know that on Sundays, people spend this time to unplug and which is quite weird because we are spending our Sunday plugged in on Zoom, trying to connect with each other and to learn from each other. But then we unplug in different ways. And um, for everybody who's joining me for this session, I am grateful for you and for allowing me to plug into you and be able to share with you my soulful Sunday. So. How do we look inside ourselves and find a pathway or find our, our peaceful space? 2020 and 2021 have been turbulent years and 2022 has not come any gentler for anybody, especially for professions and business people. And I think as speakers, we can all agree to the fact that trying to get back onto the speaking circuit, trying to get back onto um, rallying people to understand the importance of the work that we do, as well as people to understand the work that they need to do to get back on course is not the easiest thing. Because we start worrying about the, the dollars and cents of everything. When, you, when you're going into what everybody's deeming a world recession, a lot of businesses closed because of COVID. Uh, a lot of people lost... a not only lives, but we also lost businesses, we lost incomes, we lost um, a sense of community because we were all forced to start re-navigating how we met, re-navigating how we connected. And now we're trying to get back onto meeting each other face to face and having events again where we are in, in crowded rooms and not feeling that anxiety of, are we gonna be put on shutdown again? Because when we tried in 2021, we had meetings, we had gatherings, and we thought everything was going back to normal. Then a couple of weeks or, or a month or so later, and I think most people will remember November 2021, when, especially in South Africa, we had uh, the big scare of um, a new variant of COVID-19, and all of a sudden borders were closed. Everything was closed to us. We could no longer travel. People who had traveled could not get home everything became very scary again and we didn't know whether we're going back into another 2020 or we were truly going to be able to open up again and so 
looking after ourselves has become something that is just not just a, a code word or just a way that we are of or, or paying lip service to where we say self-care or mental health but it's become an essential way of life it's become an essential way of living and on this soulful sunday it's really important for us to to remember to to take time take time where you step aside and unplug and unplug can mean a variety of things it could mean not being online at all if that's how you feel like i have been online too many times over this week over this year over this month find one day a week where you unplug where you switch off your phone switch off your computer switch off anything electronic and go back to nature or go back to nurturing those people that surround you the people in your home if you live alone reach out to those people that bring you joy those people that nurture you and spend some time with them and that means not, not just the phone call because you're unplugged, but then that means actually going out there, inviting them over, reconnecting in the, the real sense of the word. And that's, I think COVID has taught us as people that connecting with other people is so essential for us as human beings, because when the shutdowns happened, we looked for every way possible to be able to reach out to connect to somebody. We moved to remote working because we understood the power of reaching out and connecting to somebody. Whereas in before, um, Zoom was there for uh, two years before. I remember using Zoom two years before the pandemic, doing online conferencing. And everybody used to look at me like, what is the Zoom? How does it work? Why does it work this way? But because of the power of the importance of connecting, Every time when everything was shut down, we started looking for ways where we could connect. And all of a sudden, Zoom, Teams, WebEx, anything that could allow us to connect became the, the place that we wanted to be. Social media took a whole new meaning where before we would check into our LinkedIn, our Facebook, our Instagram, um, just briefly. But then during COVID, we had, um, I, I know there was a DJ in the US called DJ Nice who had um, club quarantine that went viral and he had 300,000 people join him in one of the sessions online because he found a space where he could connect people through music. So on your soulful Sunday or the day you choose for rest, find a way you can connect with other people, the people who pour into you, the people who you feel that when you spend time with them or when you reset and they're around you, it gives you that sense of belonging, that sense of strength, that, that's, that reset mood. Another thing that we can do on um, our day off is plan. When we take time to plan ahead for the week ahead or reflect on the week that we've just come out of, we have more clarity. So it's not planning because we have to, it's planning because we need to. Clarity is so important for us all as we are running businesses, as we are communicating with people and working around people and even contributing in our careers, no matter what career we're in. Planning ahead helps us to stay focused, especially when things go off the beaten path and we all know what firefighting looks like it's when you wake up in the morning and you think your day is going to go one way and it goes completely the other way but when you have planned out your day you can then look at how you can refocus your day back on track to what you had planned or how you can shelve your plan and look at what's going on but still have a plan to go forward past that incident that is probably that derailed everything so planning ahead is so important for me, I find that it, I do my planning early in the morning, almost every day. I am part of the 5 a.m. club, wake up by about four o'clock and my internal timer tells me it's time to get up. And during that time, I spend time meditating to get some peace because as you've woken up, you might think you've just gotten, uh, you've just gotten out of resting. But the truth is when, as you're sleeping, a lot is going on. Your body is still going through a lot of processes. You might have dreamt and you might wake up feeling like, okay, that dream did not feel good or that dream felt good. So that space between waking up and then refocusing yourself, just taking some time to meditate, taking some time for silence, not grabbing your phone, because we tend to say when we when we go to sleep, the last time the last thing we look at is our phones. We're sitting there, we're going through our phones, and we're like, "Oh, it's time to bed." We put our phones down. The moment we wake up, 
we're picking up our phones again and we're already on the grind and we're forgetting to take a moment to say, right, how am I feeling this morning? How, what is my body telling me? Am I feeling okay? Am I feeling strong? Am I feeling weak? Am I feeling tired? Am I feeling energized? And what happened yesterday? How, how did my day pan out yesterday? How can I look forward to how my day is going to pan out today? How can I plan ahead for, for today without looking at your calendar or your schedule, just putting forward a thought processes, put, put, putting forward an energy into your day so that as you are looking into your day and as you then pick up your phone or pick up your journal, pick up whatever it is, the tool that you use to plan out your day, you've already put your mind into a mindset. You've shifted your mind and you've put it into a certain perspective and you're saying, right, this is where I am now. Everything now that I am taking in is coming into a space that I have created and I have already set the tone of the energy of what I am doing, where I'm going, how I'm feeling. And now I am I am no, no longer just reacting, but I am responding. So if there's a message on my phone that uh, I'm not happy about or I'm happy about, I'm no longer reacting to it, but I'm responding to it because I've already set out an energy. And then, as I always say, there's the law of one, two, three, many. So the last, the third and the last thing that I'm going to share with you today in terms of how to reset yourself on your reset day i've shared to you how you can reset yourself on a full day by unplugging i've showed you how you can do it every day by um creating a habit in the morning and for some people that habit that i create in the morning might be something that they decide to do in the evening before they go to bed they might decide you know what let me put my phone down a bit earlier and let me um, create an energy so that when i sleep and wake up this energy is a consistent and I am already tapping into my tomorrow from today. Depends if you're a morning person or you're an evening person. So my third tool that I would then give to you would be that spend at least 30 minutes within the day, the middle of the day, taking a time out, take a step back. So it could be your midday, it could be your lunchtime. That 30 minutes, spend it resetting. So it's almost like um, when you get to halfway through the year, uh, you've heard all these, all these motivational talks about how when you are halfway through the year, you're only at half time. And now when you're in the last part of the year, you are in the, the last part of the game. And this, this is the crucial time. So when you get to halfway through your day, spend some time where you take a break. Even uh, when you having... Um, uh, sports, you know that they have that half time where halfway through the game, all the players take a break and they reset. So for you, whether you are running a business, whether you are in a career, resetting is important halfway through your day. It allows you to take stock of what happened in the beginning of your day, and then it allows you to then roll out the rest of your day and see if you need to reset anything, whether you need to rethink, recheck, re-strategize as you go through your day. Uh, and, you, and you finish strong. You finish the rest of your day strong. You can do that even with your week. You can say your first half of your week is Sunday through Wednesday. Wednesday is your reset day. It's your day that you look back and say, what did I do the first half of the week? What is my plan for the second half of the week? And then you can tackle the second half of the week knowing that we finish strong. Finishing strong means that we are looking at our goals. We're saying, how far have we managed to take ourselves? How far do we still need to go? What needs to be pushed forward? What needs to be rethought? What are the wins that I have? Don't forget to celebrate your wins because we tend to magnify our losses more than we magnify our wins. Celebrate the things that you have been able to do. Celebrate the achievements you've been able to make, even if it's the smallest of things, even if it's one step forward. We all know that Chinese proverb that says, the journey of a thousand miles started with a single step. So if it's just that one step that you've managed to do this week, it's one step further than you were yesterday, celebrate that. And then look at how many more steps that you can do this week and allocate your time to making sure that you can take those steps and you can move forward and make those things happen for yourself 
and for your team or the other people that you work with. So those are my three tips in this Soulful Sunday. I am hoping that they will help you to finish this year strong, finish this week strong, and finish today strong. And I hope you adopt them. And as we continue with the power of other, I'm looking forward to hearing for the amazing speakers that we have lined up for you that are going to be joining us and sharing on phenomenal, phenomenal topics. Thank you so much, guys.